Looking for magic cards or magic carps? TCG Player has all the singles you need to upgrade your decks. Import a list with mass entry and let the card optimizer do the rest. Use my affiliate link down below when shopping and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Explorer gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at a Junt colored combo deck featuring the new Gwenna Eyes of Gaia, a 3 mana 2 3. Can tap for 2 mana in any combination of colors that we can only spend to cast creature spells or activate abilities of creatures. And then whenever we cast a creature spell with power 5 or greater, we can put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Gwenna and importantly untap it as well. So Gwenna can lead to an infinite combo with the Lich, which is a 3-mana 5-5 five five when it enters a battlefield. If we haven't completed the Tomb of Annihilation, which is this dungeon on the right here, then we return the Lich to its owner's hand and venture into the dungeon. And the dungeon we're going to venture into is the Lost Mine of Phandelver almost every time. Can first scry one, then either make a goblin token or make a treasure. And then the important mode here is the Dark Pool. Each opponent loses one life and we gain one life. So if we go through the Dark Pool over and over again, we can basically drain the opponent to death. And because the Lich has 5 power and untaps Gwenna, all we need is one more cost reducer to help us cast a 3 mana Lich and basically combo off. And we have 4 copies of Marauding Raptor to help with that. 2 mana, 2 3 says creature spells we cast get a 1 mana discount. And whenever another creature enters under our control, the Raptor will deal 2 damage to it. So it is kind of awkward if we're trying to cast our cheaper elves with a Raptor already in play. But if we curve out normally, then it's no big deal. And then we also have 4 copies of Burgi, God of Storytelling, saying whenever we cast a spell, add a red to our mana pool. And that doesn't go away until the very end of our turn. So Burgi plus Gwenna also lets us infinitely cast the Lich to drain the opponent to death. And then to tie everything together, we also have the new Diabolic Intent, a 2-mana sorcery. As an additional cost to cast, we need to sacrifice a creature, and then we can search our library for a card and put it into our hand. So if we already have Gwenna, we can maybe find the Lich with it. If we already have Lich, can maybe find Gwenna. And there's also four copies of Collected Company. If we're not sure what to get, that's just a powerful 4-mana instant to find two creatures in the top six, and all the creatures in this deck have mana value three or less. So you can find Gwenna, and then untap and combo off, especially useful against more controlling strategies where the opponent might have some sorcery speed removal but doesn't necessarily have the instant speed removal to answer Gwenna once we get to untap with it. And then we also have four copies of Bone Crusher Giant, can use Stomp first to deal two damage, and then a nice four three creature, sadly not enough to untap Gwenna. But we also have Gigantha as our companion, which does have five power, so if the game does drag out, we can play it and also put an extra counter on Gwenna and untap it. And then at one mana, we have all eight elves, which can set up a turn two Gwenna, which can then set up a turn three kill already, if we follow it up with a Raptor into a Lich, for instance. So that's what this deck is capable of if all goes according to plan. Plan. And then our mana base has a ton of dual lands, of course, for mana fixing, one mountain in case of a field of ruin, and a Boseju can also come in handy. And yeah, even if we don't infinitely combo with Gwenna, sometimes just untapping with Gwenna and casting the Lich a few times to go through the dungeon is quite powerful. Just be careful not to go through the Tomb of Annihilation, because if you complete that one, then the Lich will stay in play once we cast it, and then uh, we won't be able to infinitely combo with it anymore. Of course, it could still be powerful in kind of an average game, but that's not what this deck is all about. If you're feeling adventurous, you can also go through the Dungeon of the Mad Mage, but for the most part, we're focusing on the Lost mine to combo kill our opponent. And then Burgi we can sometimes also play as Horn of Bounty, especially if we draw multiples. And then the 5 mana artifact can also help us find the missing combo pieces by discarding excess lands or other cards we no longer need. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw. Hand seems keepable. Got Lich and Burgi just missing Gwenna. And turn 1 Alpha always helps. So we can go for a turn two, Burgi, if we'd like. Opponent red black, maybe a sacrifice deck. It's gonna stomp the elf. So now we don't have a turn two play lined up. Possible they're just a red black mid range deck as well. Alright, can try a Burgi here. 
I might leave the second one to play Horn of Bounty if it's going to be a grindy matchup. Fabled Passage also way to enable Fatal Push, which they could revolt here. Opponent finally sacrificing Fabled Passage. So no end of turn removal. But we could see a powerful 4-drop. It's going to be Chandra, perfect answer to Burgi. And we don't have a way to uh, finish it off, unless we draw a Bone Crusher Giant. Alright, there's Gwena at least, so that's exciting. So play Gwena, hope they're out of removal. And then next turn we can maybe combo off. Thought sees to have a look. Probably takes the Lich here, maybe Intent. That would be the best case scenario. If they don't know how the combo works. We have more replacements for Burgi. As a Marauding Raptor would also kind of fill its role. And our opponent takes Burgi. They might have removal for Gwena too here. Gonna be a Bone Crusher just as a 4 3 and Harvester. Okay, so we have a few top decks that win the game. Another Lich, I don't think, is one of them. But uh, I guess we'll start by casting Lich here. And then Scry. Don't need lands. Can make a goblin. Maybe go for treasure. Replay Lich. Drain the opponent. And then we can still draw a card. And then I'll hang on to Boseju. Replay Lich, Scry. bottom and then we can attack Chandra as well make a treasure and that way we can play a lich one last time and drain the opponents Although shrinking the giant also an option. Sure, they may just jump with it now. Thanks, Chandra. Okay, so Gwena's pretty large. Could still die to a fatal push. But at least another Chandra's not gonna answer it. Yep. You're going Opponent down. did find another Chandra. So 4 plus 2 from Harvester, still not enough. So our opponent may be digging for something like Fatal Push. Bloodchief's Thirst luckily doesn't do it since they don't have the mana to play it kicked. So dodge the bullet there. And our opponent explodes. Yeah, I guess Gwena just providing too much value alongside Lich even if it's not infinite. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and our hand could work out nicely. Turn to Gwena, turn three company. And then we just need to hit the right creatures to combo off. Opponent with a turn one Thoughtseize probably takes company, but then we'll still have elves into Gwena. So then we're 
in a great spot to top deck a Lich. Back of Gwena could also help. So not sure what to make of my opponent's deck yet. Black-white mid-range could be a Grease Fang deck. All right, Wither Bloom Command also points in that direction. Chariot they could bring back next turn. There's a Lich. Okay, so that's helpful. Well, their opponent did slow us down here by killing the Elf. Hope to dodge Grease Fang. But there it is. So, at least no Parhelion, but still a powerful Chariot. They will have to pick it back up, so if they can discard it, at least it won't stay in play. But they can also cast it for 4 mana, of course. So, need to find the combo pieces soon. But we have most of them. Can cast Lich a few times to go digging. And then we just need a cost reducer for Ossidon or Burgi. Liliana gets rid of Elves. And I guess can also make them discard Chariot to bring it back. So they're gonna plus. Yeah, I'll keep the land, discard Gwena. And then, not quite taking a lethal, but opponent's getting close, so probably have maybe one more turn to assemble the combo. Can block a cat token at least. Fall to four. Big draw step coming up, and there we have it. Awesome. Raptor into Lich. Make sure we tap Gwena. And that's the infinite combo. Just go through the middle dungeon. And doesn't matter what we scry since we have everything we need. And we'll see how long it takes for our opponent to realize what's going on. Making a goblin not too helpful when there's a raptor to deal too damage to it. So yeah, we managed to kill the opponent on the last possible turn. Although this might take a while. Another Lich, doesn't matter. It's the Drain that uh, will win us the game. And also getting bigger. And I guess we'll speed up the process here by going through the settings and then we'll auto order triggered abilities. And our opponent explodes. Yeah, they figured it out. We can infinitely go through the middle dungeon and drain the opponent to death. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. This hand has basically all the tools we need. Mystic into Gwena. And then either a company or intent to find a cost reducer. Opponent with a snow-covered planes. Hopefully they're a creature deck and not a control deck. Alright, orators, so a life gain deck. That bodes well. They could still have cards like Skyclave Apparition to remove Gwena. And Gianni's Welcome. And Daxos 
at least all their life gain is one-sided instead of cards like soul warden the trigger of opposing creatures of course soul warden not legal in explore but that would make it much harder to infinitely combo and drain the opponent to death okay so we get to untap and what can we do so if i cast intent get a raptor for instance i can play it and then i should still be able to keep comboing so yeah let's go for it A Lich costs 2 mana, we'll untap Gwenna, and there we have the kill on turn 3, that's impressive. So this might take a while, but it is an infinite combo. Also making an infinitely large Gwenna while we're at it. And our opponent realizes what's happening and concedes. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand is missing Gwenna, but can maybe find it off company. And we get to play more controlling game with Bonecrusher early on. So we'll see how that works out. Snow-covered island points towards spirits. Can be a tough matchup. And uh, Ascendant Spirit also threatens to survive Stomp. Alright, can play a Raptor now. Okay, if that gets countered, that resolves. And our opponent levels up Ascendant Spirit. They might put an aura on it to start drawing extra cards. Alright, opponent just passing. And uh, yeah, I think we also just pass with Stomp available. Could attack with a Raptor, save their block, and then finish off the spirits. I guess they could also have a Rattle Chains to give spirit hexproof, in which case I wouldn't be able to uh, finish it off, and it would also fizzle the Bone Crusher. So we'll wait and see what they do. If they play Rattle Chains, then I'll stomp the spirit. Bonan does nothing. And attacks for two. Okay, I think we just untap here. Unless our plan is to cast Bone Crusher plus Lich next turn, in which case I'm fine to stomp face. Alright, so. Step one, play Bone Crusher, and then Lich. If the Lich gets countered, we have a backup. And then maybe go for Company once we have a bit more pressure on the board. And the Lich can Scry. And Burgi is no Gwenna. I could cast an upkeep collected company, but that's unlikely to resolve. Although, yeah, Burgi is still not the worst. 2 mana, 3-3. Three, three. Sure, I guess I'll keep Burgi. And then I'll put an upkeep stop in case I want a company here. And then Raptor should be able to attack without too much issue. I guess if her opponent has like rattle chains into something else they could ambush, but it would still probably be a trade at least. So 
Your opponent takes two. Can level up Ascendant Spirits into a 4-4. Four, four. So their mana did not go to waste. And you can bet our opponent has some counter spells in hand. So yeah, it's going to be a tough road to set up the combo. There goes Ascendant Spirits. And we upkeep company. Opponent counters, we hit for six. Yeah, maybe that's okay. There's a Geist Light Snare. And attack for six. Spectral Sailor added to the board. So if they play their Spirit Lord here to pump the team, they can potentially kill us in two attacks. Here's Obsession. Hit for six. And there's another Raptor. Attack for six. See what happens. Let's say we play Burgi. Then I can make a treasure to play a Lich once again. Possible I should have baited with Marauding Raptor to pump the original one, but didn't really want to in play. Okay, so play Lich, and then if our opponent counters on taps, we're dead. But uh, I guess I could play a Raptor first, mix mana with Burgi, and they'll maybe counter this one. Make a treasure. And replay it one last time to shrink down Ascendant Spirit. And hope there's no rattle chains. And then I can still put Gigantha in hand. There's a rattle chain, so now we're very much dead. Well, we gave it a try, but yeah, the mono blue counter spell deck seems pretty tough. Another spectral sailor. So your opponent's got plenty of flyers here to cross the finish line. GG's. Got them down to four at least. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Hand seems promising. Turn 1 Elf can set up a turn 2 Gwenna. And uh, sure, I'll take 2. Opponent might have a Fatal Push. They don't. Does appear Mono Black. Alright, so let us play Gwenna. And then we're just a Lich away from comboing next turn. Might be a game where we cast the Horn of Bounty to help us take over the late game. Liliana just sacrificed Lenor Elves. So that's not a disaster. Okay, can play Blooming Marsh. And then do I go for Burgi? Gwen I can only tap for mana when it comes to creature spells. So yeah, I guess just playing a Raptor for now, postpone the decision of whether or not I play Burgi or Horn. This isn't how things were supposed to go. And Raptor will protect us from another Liliana minus two. It's gonna be a Flesh Gorger, that's fine. And there's Diabolic Intent. Okay, so I 
think we should be able to get there if I play Burgi for double reds, then a Diabolic Intense, and then we still have enough for Lich. And then it doesn't matter which creature I sacrifice here. Just let me double check the mana situation. So Diabolic Intense. Sacrifice Raptor. Fewer triggers, maybe. Get Lich. Cast Lich. And let the fun begin. And our opponent explodes. They know what's incoming. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and our hand's missing both Gwenna and Lich, no company. Up against Keruga, maybe a Fires of Invention deck. Yeah, this one's probably not going to be good enough. This one's much better. We have everything we need, pretty much. I think I can get rid of lands, turn to Gwenna. And then, yeah, we could combo off. We'll see how this plays out. Opponent could have a stomp, otherwise we don't expect many cheap plays with Keruga as companion. And uh, yeah, if I go for Burgi next turn, we can go for it, hoping to dodge a sweeper pretty much. Although I could play Lich first, just to untap Gwenna, put a counter on it, maybe get it out of range. That seems fine. And played a few times. Make a treasure as well. And uh, land on top is fine. So we'll replay a Lich. Make a treasure. And I guess our opponent already concedes. We weren't going off infinitely here, but Gwenna was going to get large. We would play Burgi, and then next turn we would have the mana to infinitely kill the opponent, hopefully. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and this hand has the makings of a turn 3 kill, if all goes to plan. Although, I'm sure our opponent has one or two things to say about it. And a turn on Firebrand. Already trading for Lateral Elves will slow us down. Still gonna play it, since I don't want to play it after a Raptor. And then, most likely still going for turn to Raptor, unless our opponent gives us a juicy target for Stomp. A robber? Yeah, that one we could Stomp, although a Raptor also blocks it. And if they have to use a burn spell to finish off Raptor after attacking, I'm pretty happy. Soulscar Mage could maybe shrink it down. And a play with fire. Alright, at least we still have the discount from Raptor. Opponent finding a collected company. And I think we take two. Find our own company. So I can go Elves plus Gwenna, but I can play Gwenna plus Tapland. Take it from there. Luckily, the Soulscar Mage does not apply to my own Marauding Raptor, because that would be quite unfortunate. Sadly, a Stomp on Gwenna. So we're probably going to see another removal spell. No, just an attack. Opponent finds our Bone Crusher. Well, if I take it, next turn I get to combo, so let's see if that works out. Well, so far so good. Play Lich, using Gwenna. And we can keep doing it. So yeah, against Mono Reds, if their burn spells don't quite kill a 3 toughness creature, we can still combo. And our opponent's gonna learn the hard way.
Maybe I should cast a Collected Company here, just to speed things up so I don't have to keep manually tapping Gwenna. And find a Burgi. Elves is gonna die, but that's fine. Okay. So now it should go a little bit faster. Through the mine we go. Hey ho, hey ho, and our opponent explodes. Sweet. Alright, so we got to see our Jun's Lich deck in action. And yeah, with the right draw, can kill on turn 3, which is faster than pretty much any deck in the format. So that's one thing that the deck has going for it. If you're facing more controlling strategies with lots of removal, especially sweepers, then it can be pretty tough to establish Gwenna and to untap with it. But uh, yeah, against other creature decks, we usually stand a good chance. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always... Have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.